Today is the oldest you've ever been and the youngest you'll ever be again. This philosophical quote by Eleanor Roosevelt points to a question that scientists have been trying to answer for decades. As time goes by, our physical structures change, we get older, we age. But why? Hello everyone and welcome to Scientastica. An extra special welcome to the subscribers of this channel. You guys are the reason I'm able to make this video, so thank you so much. I'm Reza, a pharmaceutical scientist here in the United States, and in this channel I like to make science-related videos. Today's video covers the complex biological process of aging. So without further ado, let's jump into it. A more scientific term for aging is senescence, which is the progressive loss of complexity of physiological processes like fertility, sensory processes like vision, or anatomical aspects like physical postures eventually leading to death. Aging process is complex and poorly understood, and there is no single theory that completely explains why we age. Let's look at a few prevalent theories that explore possible factors that contribute to aging. One group of theories consider aging to be a gene-controlled program. So, according to these program theories, aging is a program that favors the young and reproductive members of a species and eliminates individuals that have reached the age where they cannot reproduce anymore. This makes aging beneficial from an evolutionary perspective because it eliminates post-reproductive individuals, stops overpopulation, and allows more resources to be available to the fertile members of the species. Evidences of programmed aging and death have been found in organisms like yeasts and Pacific salmon. In studies of aging yeast cells, after the death of 90% of yeast population, nutrients that are released from the dead cells help the healthier yeasts regrow. Interestingly, if yeast cells are genetically engineered to have a longer lifespan, this regrowth of a healthier population does not happen. This suggests that programmed aging and death may have some benefit to the population at large, however, it costs the individual members of the species their lives. Similarly, Pacific salmon die suddenly after spawning. However, if their reproductive organs and glands are removed, they don't die that fast. The theory of programmed aging and death is also supported by the existence of several longevity-increasing genes in the roundworm C. elegans. However, there is a major flaw to these programmed aging theories. Of all the gene mutations that have been indicated to extend lifespan, not a single one has been able to completely abolish the process of aging. This means that there may be more to aging than simply a group of genes predetermining the lifespan of an organism. Another group of theories suggests that natural accumulation of damage to our biomolecules may be the reason why we age. One of these damage theories suggests that oxidative damage to DNA, protein, and lipid molecules in our bodies is the reason why we age. We need to breathe in oxygen to survive because our bodies use oxygen to produce energy through a process called respiration. One important part of this respiration process is the electron transport system where electrons are transferred across a chain of proteins releasing energy in each step. This energy can be used to transport protons across the membrane, creating a proton gradient which is used by proteins called ATP synthases to produce ATP, the energy currency of our cells. The final acceptor of the electrons being passed down the chain is oxygen, which then combines with electrons and protons to form water. Without oxygen, the whole chain is broken and our body gets deprived of energy. This whole electron transport system is located on the inner membrane of mitochondria, justifying the name powerhouse of the cell. At the end of the electron transport chain, oxygen receives four electrons and protons to produce water. However, sometimes this process remains incomplete and oxygen receives only one or two electrons instead of four, resulting in the production of a highly reactive molecule called reactive oxygen species. These reactive oxygen species can deal dangerous amounts of oxidative damage to the DNA, proteins, and lipid molecules in our cells. 
our bodies can produce antioxidants that are able to neutralize these dangerous reactive oxygen species. In fact, when houseflies were genetically engineered to produce large amounts of these antioxidant enzymes, their lifespans were extended. However, these results could not be reproduced in mammals like mice. Another set of damage theories suggests that shortening of telomeres may be the reason behind aging. The genetic material in our cells are tightly packed into structures called chromosomes, and at the end of chromosomes, we can find repeated DNA sequences called telomeres. When our cells divide, our genetic materials are also replicated. However, due to a shortcoming known as the end replication problem, the telomere sequence never gets completely replicated and gets shortened by a little bit every time our cells divide. That means, as we age, our telomeres shrink. After a certain number of divisions, telomeres are exhausted to a point where cells cannot divide anymore. This is called Hayflick limit and cells that have reached Hayflick limit undergo permanent growth arrest. A protein called telomerase can maintain telomere length. However, most adult mammals, including humans, do not express telomeres. If mammalian cells are engineered to express telomerases, they can produce immortal cell lines. Although this seems promising at the cellular level, when samples of chromosomes were taken from individuals of different ages, there were no correlation between the length of the telomeres and the ability of their cells to divide. Additionally, mice that were genetically engineered to produce telomerases to maintain telomere lengths also do not live any longer than regular mice. These findings question the actual roles of telomeres in aging. Telomeres may have some role in aging, but they are definitely not the major drivers of senescence. Finally, there are other theories that combine both the damage and program theories, suggesting aging is caused by a signaling network between different biological processes over time, meaning changes happening in one specific biological system can cause other biological systems to deteriorate. Aging-related changes to our bodies can be physiological like increased blood pressure, and decreased white matter volume in the brain, or even psychological, like alteration in sleep patterns. Scientists have formulated a freely accessible database called the Digital Aging Atlas that holds information about all the aging-related changes to our bodies. You can find the link in the description box below. So, can we stop or prolong aging somehow? Scientists have researched a few ways that may be able to delay some effects of aging. Consuming less calories or caloric restriction has been known to extend the lifespan of laboratory animals since the 1930s. Caloric restriction can cause a series of changes in the protein and hormone levels resulting in delayed aging. Stem cell and hormonal therapies are also being researched. Pharmaceutical companies have made efforts to develop telomere-based therapies, and telomere-activated drugs are already available in the market. These telomere-activated drugs have not been reported to delay the aging process. However, they have been reported to improve the metabolic, cardiovascular, and bone health. So to conclude, the aging research is still at its infancy. But with the development of novel drug delivery techniques and nanotechnologies, in the future we may be able to understand aging better and even delay the aging process. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click on that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps my channel reach out to a wider audience. Also subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as I post a new video. Until next time. I'm Reza and this is Scientastica.